Hey everyone, I figured I'd uh, I'd record this because, you know, I, I like to talk, I like to ramble. Although the first time that I did something in this uh, little series, which is just me saying let's talk about it, um, that one kind of flopped. <laughs> I, I figured I would follow it up with something else. Um, right now we are about, uh, from when I'm recording this, 8 Days from Modern Warfare uh, 2019. And I'm, I'm genuinely excited for this. Like, I, I used to really, really love early COD games. I, I still like COD, even its worst games like World War II and Can Ghost. I still like it in aspect. E even even Black Ops 4, which, admittedly, I only like the zombies mode, and even then, only the Aether maps, not the the, the Chaos map. The Chaos maps fucking suck. I, I think nobody wants to admit it, but everyone knows that the Chaos maps are the worst. They're worse than. <laughs> Then World War II Zombies later maps, which is saying something, because those maps fucking suck. But I digress. My Modern Warfare, it's its weird how it took this long to get something like that again, because my Modern Warfare 1 is, like, amazing. Modern Warfare 2's good, but its its multiplayer was a bit of a pain in the ass, in my opinion. And then Modern Warfare 3 is all over the place, but the final mission is fucking awesome. Like, that, that final mission where you're just with the, the miniguns and you're just gunning everything down, that's great, but it took so long for them to, I guess, proverbially return to the well. But I'm glad they're doing it finally, because, shit, this, this game looks amazing. This game plays amazing, too. Uh, when the, the beta was out, actually when the alpha was out, fuck. When the alpha was out, I streamed it. I fucking love how the gunplay works in that game. Like, it's smooth, it's fluid. The movement's amazing, and and just everything in this lead up has gotten me more and more excited. Like um, the the giant ass ground war mode, which is essentially Call of Duty out battlefielding Battlefield, because the last few Battlefield games have fucking sucked, um, especially like one in five. What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> but. You know, I have this, this genuine excitement for this game. And I realize the only other game this year that I'm this excited for is Death Stranding. Like, uh, the Outer Worlds looks fucking great, and uh, there's a lot more that I'm excited for, but I'm probably gonna save those games for like Black Friday or like some other big sale. COD this year has the chance to really like save the series. Black Ops 4 was incredibly disappointing. World War 2 was just a clusterfuck. Infinite Warfare got a lot of hate, but admittedly I like Infinite Warfare in aspect, especially the story mode. Like the story mode I think in in, in Infinite Warfare was probably better than but better than anything they've done in a while. But you know, Infinity Ward had fallen from grace because COD Ghost is a fucking mess. There's no, there's no ifs, like, ifs, ands, or buts about it. COD Ghost is messy. Treyarch used to be like peak A1 tier when it came to COD stories with uh, World of War, uh, COD 3, COD 2 Big Red 1, Black Ops 1 and 2, stuff like that. But 3 was. 3 was so bad, and then 3's ending didn't leave him any room for uh, for Black Ops 4, so they just said, you know what, fuck it, we're not even doing a story mode. Which I can't blame them if it would have been anywhere near as bad as Black Ops 3's story. I'm fine with that. And the problem is Black Ops 4 felt like it was made in half a year. <laughs> we're still missing zombies features that were promised before launch. Like uh, the clan thing or whatever. We were missing so many features from zombies. Everyone was excited for it. And then we got what we got and it fucking sucks. I have hope that Infinity Ward, like the gameplay alone felt so like polished and refined. Going back to Black Ops 4 immediately after felt like I was walking in mud. So I'm excited to see what the future is going to hold for Call of Duty. I'm not fond of some of the things, like them having an entire year of exclusivity for survival mode. Don't like that, but I guess I can wait a year. I'm fine with waiting a year, because I can now play with all of my friends. I have friends who only play on PlayStation 4, I've got friends who only play on Xbox, I've got friends who only play on uh, PC. And I'm, I'm excited to see what the fuck is going to happen, because if you would have told me, like, a year ago, like last year after the launch of, uh, <laughs> The launch of Black Ops 4, which admittedly, the launch was okay, but it had some problems. That I'd be this excited for COD again? I wouldn't have believed you. I really wouldn't have. Which, I, I'm, I'm glad for. I'm glad that COD is, is coming back in a way that doesn't feel like Black Ops 4. It feels good to play. Now, from when I upload this, it will be exactly one week 
from uh, uh, from the launch. But uh, I will be streaming pretty much all day Friday uh, on the launch day. So if you want to watch me stream this game, I'm, I might do a restream and stream on both Twitch and YouTube. So if you guys want to watch it, uh, follow me on Twitch at the very least. And uh, yeah. Some incredibly good news also that came out after I recorded that, that you just listened to. Um, Modern Warfare is completely ditching loot boxes and all that, and going to a battle pass system, which I think is the correct way to go. Because if I'm being honest, I'm more interested in paying for a battle pass that I can earn shit over time and work on it. It actually gives me an incentive to want to use that, want to do that with that money. Um, than to just pay straight up for either the items or for a loot box. Which I think is incredibly smart, incredibly forward thinking, apparently even Treyarch's going to get into it. Um, plus they announced that there's not going to be a prestige mode, and there's going to be like levels based on operations. Uh, meaning it'll give you more of a reason to play seasonally, which is incredibly exciting. Um, yeah, one week from today when I'm recording and editing this. Fucking hell, I can't wait. Anyways, now to the outro. Now we're going to go to my Patreon outro, uh, where I'm going to talk about some of my my patrons and uh, the, the pledge amounts and all that. If you want to be on the screen, you can always go and follow me on, or go subscribe to me on Patreon. Um, you get you get some you get some extra stuff. So at our ten dollar tier, we have Amaret and Fee. At our four ninety nine tier, we have Aslan, Ichi, Union five seventy three, and Typhoid Turntable. And then in our $1 tier, we have Astrologia, Cassandra, Charlie, Sydney, Lyra, Oceanize, Stephen Mayer, Sid, and the Bean of England. So yeah, that was just a small little video I thought would be a little interesting to talk about, you know, some, some of the, the interesting stuff about the new con and uh, how excited I am for it. And just to announce that I'm, I'm going to be streaming it. I, I wanted to put out some smaller videos in between like the, the big project stuff, so... If you guys like these videos, uh, hit like so that way people see it more because that's how YouTube works. Comment, tell me if you like it, tell me if you don't, and we'll work from there. But uh, I'm excited to start putting more stuff out for the channel. Because like the big videos where I'm like, I'm researching shit, it takes forever and I feel bad not being able to like have stuff out for people. So if you like these sort of smaller uh, rant type videos, um, I'd really appreciate it if you hit like and tell me that you like it. Anyways, this is recorded at 9 a.m. You can tell I'm a little tired, but uh, I, I think we I think we had a fun fun video here. Have a good night, everybody.